as employees of the Baselinker system, we can easily generate a printout with order data or save the data as an export file. The Printouts and Exports button is used for this. In this case, we have a product list, purchase order, label, shipping manifest, or XML of a given order. Of course, these are only the default prints. Let's go to Add or Edit. There are many printouts and exports available in the system as part of the subscription. We can preview them at the bottom of the page. In this case, we have all the printouts and exports in Polish. If we find the printout that interests us, for example, purchase order with miniatures, click subscribe and confirm. And in the first section at the top of the page, we have information that a given printout has been added. We can duplicate all subscribe printouts in order to edit them or add a new printout or export in the upper right corner. We will be addressing this in another higher level training. Let's move on to the order list. Let's mark the orders. Printouts and exports. As you can see, our subscribe printout is already visible. After generating, we have a list of orders with thumbnails of products. Let's go back to the panel. In addition, it is worth mentioning that we can send prints and exports directly to the printer. After clicking, in the lower left corner, we have information that the file has been added to the print queue. Let's deselect our orders, and let's go to the order card. From this level, we can also generate a printout and export. It is right there. Let's generate, for example, a shipping manifest. As you can see, we have a summary of all products in the order. In this case, it is one product. Let's move on to the order list. This time, let's mark all the orders, go to Prints and Exports, and let's repeat the printing of Shipping Manifest. We have generated a printout that includes all products from the selected orders and the sum of the number of products. Let's go back to the panel. We can also generate a file, for example, an XML file with an order. It will be downloaded to our computer. We can preview it. A useful export at work will be subscribing to a printout related to our client's emails. In this case, let's take the list email addresses. Let's confirm. Let's go back to the order list and this time select all the orders on all pages. In this way, we can generate a complete list of email addresses for our orders. Let's take a look. As you can see, in our case, it is a test email address. 